People cannot create Only the story what is good All the world be great Don't let the fear steal your peace, no Don't let the fear steal your peace Peace Don't let the fear steal your peace, no Don't let the fear steal your peace it's like everybody wants to feel love Except what is given even if it's not enough Only accept what we think we deserve Which is absurd Cause our vision's so blurry That we can't even see That's the own damn feet So you can look like love If you don't look closely So if you're a woman Or if you're a man If you dare to trust another human Please just understand There is no limits to the cruelty you Hi everyone, Christina Peek is here. I just wanted to show off this uh, tankini that I made from my Pinspiration. And I'm pretty excited about it and I think it turned out really well. So I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Um, first of all, this is my Pinspiration. Uh, this is from Athleta. And let me go through the main features of it and what attracted me to it. First of all, it's fitted so that it's not gonna float up in the pool so much. Second, it's got princess seam shaping, which is nice and, and delicate, and yet um, you know, isn't like darts and isn't like kind of smushy. Uh, it's got a nice V-neck, thick straps, and let's see, let's go to a back view. So what really stands out is the back view here. So it has a clip, so it can hold um, tight and can be firm, and yet you can still get in and out. And it's got these neat detailing on the back. Uh, notice too that there's no binding, that it's nice and smooth, and um, it's just like a nice hip length. Um, so it also has adjustable straps, and yeah, so I really liked it, and I wanted something kind of like this, but I wanted to fit me. So what I decided to do was to make the George and Ginger switch it up. Um, the front view eye, now notice it doesn't have a v-neck, but it does have a dip in the front, and it does have um, the seams for shaping. And then, uh, and it also has the thick straps. And then for the back, look, this is almost exactly the same shape, but it doesn't have a fastener, and it's meant to be bound. So, oh, and then I had to add a bottom. And so for the bottom, I added... Um, I use the bottom from the Lara swimsuit from five out of four. So now let me go through how I sewed it up and what changes I made. So this video is going to probably be a little bit um, bumpy, but here we go. Um, first, I just wanted to point out how smooth this is on the inside. Um, there's no exposed edges. Um, until you get, you know, to where the skirt attaches, and that doesn't, you know, doesn't bother me at all. Um, I did have a little bit of an issue with the uh, fastener, which I, I'll talk about later. Um, this is still wet from the pool, but it's all, um, it's all smooth, and yeah. So first of all, okay, um, I cut out the front. Uh, okay, so I adjusted the front pattern piece. I added um, half inch to the bottom. So each cup size uh, is a three eighths of an inch. And so I added a half inch to the bottom and um, it was uh, it was definitely too small. I needed one more cup size if I had just made it like I made um, the previous one. And I also, um, this is the side, this is toward the center, center front. I brought this up a quarter of an inch, um, just because I, you know, swimming in the pool, um, wanted it to be fine, to be make sure it was secure. So you sew this to the side piece, okay? Um, actually, so the front I lined with tech sheen, and um, so I took I took the tech sheen and I basted it with a zigzag, like on or off the edge, like a four in length, kind of wide, um, all the way around um, with the stretchy for tech sheen going sideways and the not at all stretchy up and down. So I put tech sheen in this piece and this piece. Um, and then I sewed the lining together. So you had one front, which was two center pieces um, and two side pieces of um, 
the swim suit and tech sheen on the back and then the swim the main fabric for the front so I had that set it aside um, she does say in the pattern not to cut the back out of with a power net just to add it to the front and I did anyway in my first one and it was a mistake you should listen to the designer she knows what she's talking about of course so um, this one I, I did um, only cut it, it out of the liner and the um, the lining, which was another swim fabric, and the main fabric. And uh, notice I did um, add um, the, a half an inch down here so that these side seams would match up. But um, I regret, well, not completely, but I think this could have just been totally like just blended up to shorter because, you know, you, you just don't need the length in the back you need in the front because you got to go out and over, right? But anyway, that's it's okay. Um, it turned out fine. So once, so I cut that out and had the front um, sewn up. So then I took and here, this is the shoulder seam. Oh, I should say, um, I almost forgot. So this is intended to be bound. So when you bind something, you have no seam allowance because the um, the binding wraps around it, right? So I need a seam allowance here because I'm going to turn. Um, I'm going to stitch it and turn it, right? So I added a quarter of an inch everywhere that the binding was supposed to be, all three spots, like the, the arm, this hole in the back, and then this, this piece here. Okay, so once I did that, I sewed, and you see that'll make the front piece line up, because right now it's a quarter inch um, off. Uh, I want to say that maybe this, this something wasn't about. Anyway, I made it so it lined up. <laughs> okay, so then I sewed um, the outside to the outside um, at the shoulders, the inside to the inside at the shoulders. So I have one whole piece, which is awkward with like, like you know, kind of flappy pieces sticking out um, all the way around. You know, so I have all of that. Then I um, placed it you know, right sides together. And I sewed, oh, I've gotten my piece wet because I have it next to my wet bathing suit on my nice wood table. But in any case, um, so I sewed all of these um, and it's a quarter inch. And then I used a rubber um, swim elastic. And I, um, where I could, I had trouble with this corner being too tight and I had to take it out and do it again. Um, so, but for most of these, I was able to just hold the elastic in, go kind of slowly and just sew the front, to, surge the front to the back, not cutting anything off at the same time as I added for a one-to-one, -one, not stretched at all, um, the swimsuit elastic. Now, um, for this one, I was having trouble. So I actually surged the seam and then zigzagged it on, making sure that it didn't, um, go over um, the line. I also, um, somebody had the recommendation that you put the elastic on the main side instead of on the lining side, and I did that. The other um, point to note when putting it on is um, here at the front, you end up with you know a square corner. So what I did was I came down to here and I stopped Oh, so this I did the um, surge and then zigzag. And then I cut it at a miter and then I went across this way. Now I was thinking kind of in retrospect, I probably should have, um, since I wasn't going to top stitch, right, because I want it to be smooth, I should have probably like bar tacked that onto the lining just to make sure it was secure. But it seems to be okay. There, It doesn't seem to have any any problems at all. So, so now, then, right. So then you've got this, so then you've got to turn it right side out, right? So what I did was I pulled this part up to there. And remember, this is going to be thicker because um, I added the seam allowances. Pulled this up to there and then pulled this whole bottom piece and turned it through here to the front. So everything is nice and clean and turned right side out. Okay, and so then I had the front was not connected to the back, right? So I basted the, um, 
I basted the back onto the lining of the front and then I flipped the front fabric over so the um, back piece was captured between you know, right sides together um, the front the front lining and the main front and then I turned it right side out it's kind of complicated I think I took a picture and if so um, I will put that on here and um, so that's how I got the clean sides and I was trying to think about it oh so the and then I needed to add the band so the band is intended to be um, folded and um, what I did was I cut two pieces. Now granted, I should have cut an extra seam allowance, um, but actually I even wish I'd made this narrower so that it was just the width of the quarter inch elastic plus the three quarters. So it was just an inch um, after, you know, when it was sewed on and everything. Um, actually before it was sewed on. But anyway, I also did not make it any longer. So when I came around, it has a mark here that mark is for where this is here, right? Actually, the other side, this way. Okay. So you notice, ta-da, that's all the extra you got, right? Not enough to put a hook in at all. And I didn't, it didn't occur to me until I actually went to go put the hook in and oops, daisy. So um, I added, um, I had to add some extra. I just dropped a little piece here for that and it doesn't, look very good i had to take it out because i sewed the open end on instead of the closed end <sighs> anywho um so i cut two pieces i um put them i sandwiched the bodice between the um the two pieces and sewed it so the three quarters elastic around um the same length as this um, now this is supposed to be stretched okay so the same length as this the three quarter elastic and then um, it folded it down and then sewed the skirt on and um, yeah so I sewed the skirt on the skirt has I don't have it here um, the cutout that's intended for the Lara skirt is a different size so I basically had to um, just you know kind of measure um, how far apart these were to make sure that the skirt opening lines up with the top here um, and so it does um, and this is a uh, quarter inch elastic um, surged on and flipped over and top stitched I only top stitched that and um, the skirt on um, that's all I did no nothing else up here is top stitched so it can look nice and smooth Don't let the fear steal your peace, no. Don't let the fear steal your peace.